How do you decide what the best social media platforms are for you to do business? After doing months of research of social media gurus and endless hours of watching videos, I discovered there's a few things that all these people have in common when choosing the best social media platform for you to do business in or to build your personal brand. So whether you're a company or have a personal brand, after this video, you'll know what social media platforms are the best for you. Intro. Sebastian the Groot here, you're watching Dontrepreneur and are you all into making money with social media? Then make sure to subscribe because I'll post two times a week about this subject and I will teach you everything I get to learn. But for now, what are the best social media platforms to use? So let's start off with Facebook. I mean, Facebook is the master of all social media platforms. It's got 2.2 billion monthly active users, which is crazy and beats all the competitors. But yet it's losing interest of people who want to do business on Facebook. And I don't understand why. There's 2.2 billion people who log in monthly to check out content on Facebook. Compared to Instagram with 1 billion users, it's not even half as much as Facebook has. So it might lose interest a little, but this doesn't mean that you shouldn't go for it. I mean, the head of Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg itself. He discovered social media. He's the biggest guru of social media. He's the owner of Instagram. He's building Facebook even greater than it ever was so if you ever want a leader for a platform Mark Zuckerberg is the guy you need so then how should you use Facebook well Facebook is known for its educational options I mean you have Facebook groups and communities where people communicate a lot about certain subjects so people who are on Facebook are usually gaining knowledge and starting to learn better so if you have something to do with it like me you're teaching people Facebook is a great platform to be on and besides Besides that, Facebook is one of the few platforms which allows you to upload full length videos. They allow you to upload videos up to 45 minutes, which is crazy. So if you're a video creator, besides YouTube, definitely go for Facebook. Because what you might not know is that Mark Zuckerberg is focusing on the future. And what he thinks the future is, and I agree with him, is video. He's pushing video like crazy on Facebook and Instagram. So if you start in the early stages and start creating videos on Facebook, you'll be golden in the future. But now let's talk a bit about the audience. What's the audience of Facebook? Because we all have heard Instagram is populated with a lot of young people. While Facebook is populated with the older people. Well, not really old, but above 35 years. Actually, the biggest group that's on Facebook are the people between 45 and 54 years old. And only 20% of the whole Facebook population is the younger audience. But then people are scared of this. They say like, oh, 20%. I mean that's not a lot of young people and that's where the future is so let's all go to Instagram. While this may be a good thought, what they don't think is Facebook has 2.2 billion monthly active users compared to 1 billion monthly active users on Instagram. So if you take that 20% of young people from the 2.2 billion, you still have 500 million young people on Facebook. This is half the amount of all the population of Instagram. So I don't understand why people make that shift so much. Stay on Facebook, because there's so much opportunity. So now that we know that it's actually a must to go on Facebook, how about Instagram? Because it's also owned by Facebook. And Instagram, as said, is more for the younger people. It's got 1 million monthly active users and this is growing. Of those active users, 60% falls between the range between 18 and 35 years old. So 60% young people, that's a lot. And what's interesting is there's money to be get from Instagram. A recent study shows that 60% of all people that earn more than $100,000 a year 
which is a lot, are on Instagram. So people with money are on Instagram, which makes it the best social media platform to be on to make money. So that clears up a little why a lot of people jump to Instagram. So when you go on Instagram, what's the things you should focus on? Well, as we said before, Mark Zuckerberg is focusing a lot on video. And with Instagram, he's showing that even more because he just launched Instagram TV, which was supposed to be the biggest competitor of YouTube. But it's still not gaining a lot of traction. And the thing here is, whereas for Facebook, you can post long videos on Instagram, you cannot on Instagram TV if you don't have a big following you're only allowed to upload videos shorter than 10 minutes which creates huge boundaries for creators and besides that if you want to post a video on Instagram you only get between 3 and 60 seconds of video which is not a lot so even though they boosting video they're not seizing the full potential yet I don't know actually why it is but I think a lot of changes are still ahead of us so so because Mark Zuckerberg focuses on video, you should definitely go on Instagram if you have something to do with video. But besides video creating, if you are a photographer or you make a lot of photos or whatever, the best social media platform for you to be on is Instagram. Nowadays, the portfolio of creators, photographers is determined by how well their Instagram goes. Their whole portfolio used to be printed out and brought with them in a book but now they only bring their mobile and show their Instagram feed which is amazing and also due to the hashtags and the ability to be discovered Instagram is amazing for starting photographers so if you have something to do with that get your ass on there because it's a gold mine all right so if you have nothing to do with video if you have nothing to do with photography still personal branding is really hot on Instagram if you have an amazing life style or you're some kind of model or you travel a lot Instagram is amazing to be on because a lot of people search for influencers on Instagram and now with Instagram stories which you can show what your life is about it's building more traction which is really good to boost your personal brand so in short Besides Facebook, Instagram has the biggest opportunity and is growing the fastest of all social media channels. So be sure to get on there because there's money to be made. So quick in between, I'm very curious what your thoughts about Facebook and Instagram. Do you think there's more potential to be made in Facebook or is there more potential to be made in Instagram? Let me know in the comments. I'll check them out. So as we said, Instagram has this story feature, but this was stolen from Snapchat. Snapchat has 190 million daily active users, which is quite a lot, but the amount of users is dropping significantly. This is due to the competition, which is called Mark Zuckerberg, Instagram. If you have so much money and tools to be fighting a company such as Snapchat, it's quite easy to win. So what I think and what a lot of experts think is that Snapchat is slowly dying. So unless you're a big celebrity already or you're some public figure who has a lot of following already, Snapchat could be good for you because you can easily catch the attention of the 190 million users. But if you're a beginner or you don't have a big following, Snapchat is just not worth the time because it's a sinking ship and you'll never get up there when you're competing to big celebrities. However, if you're interested in advertising your company products or whatever you sell, Snapchat is really good because people consider it as a sinking ship, it doesn't mean people aren't still on there. So advertising on Snapchat is really cheap at the moment, which is really good because you can still reach a lot of people. So advertisement wise, get on that platform because there's a lot to be made. So now the biggest opportunity, in my opinion, is YouTube. It's got 1.9 million monthly users, which makes it my all time favorite. It's competing against Facebook it's the biggest threat of Facebook why do you think Mark Zuckerberg has created Instagram TV because he feels the threat but yet again he cannot compete with YouTube 
as you might know, YouTube is a part of Google, which is amazing because Google also has a lot of resources and money to compete against a big company as Facebook. And when we're looking at YouTube, it's the best platform for the future because we all know that the future is going to be video and YouTube is the king in video and has been for a long time. And because Mark Zuckerberg is pushing on video so much, this is a good thing because now YouTube is being scared and they are coming with a lot of new good updates, which is really good for the creators. Besides that, YouTube doesn't have a limit of the videos you can post, so the opportunities are endless. And then you might think, alright, I can post long videos, but people want short videos, right? They, they don't have a lot of time. Well, that's where you're wrong. The average session of a person watching on YouTube is 40 minutes and it's gaining by 50% every year, which is crazy. There are 5 billion videos watched per day. So looking at data, YouTube is in my opinion the best social media platform to be on. And also looking at the market, regular TV is also dying. Because there's an upcoming need for stream services. People don't want to be somewhere at a certain time to watch something, no. They just want to come home and put on what they want to watch at that time. So that's why stream services as Netflix are gaining so much traction. So slowly regular TV is going to die. And if you were already present at YouTube, once that day comes that regular TV is completely dead, you already have a presence on streaming services such as YouTube, which is going to profit you so much. So as I said before, YouTube is part of Google. And what we know from Google is that it's the best search engine in the world. And it's completely linked with YouTube. So in sense of being discovered, even though you don't have followers or views, YouTube is the best platform to be on. Because with SEO, <coughs> Because with SEO, which is called search engine optimization, you can rank your videos on the number one page and get a lot of new subscribers and followers. And then you might think, all right, but you need to be making videos. I don't know how to do that. Or I'm scared to show my face on YouTube. Well, there's actually a lot of YouTube channels that show no faces. They just build animations to explain stuff because YouTube is a knowledge base. People search on YouTube mostly to learn stuff. So even though you don't want to show your face on YouTube, there's still potential. And besides all that, YouTube is the only platform that gives you a salary once you're already there and have some views, which is amazing. You get a YouTube paycheck every month for the ads that have been shown on your video. So even without building a business and affiliate marketing and all those complicated terms, you can still make money with YouTube by just creating. So now we spoke about Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, which is a must in my opinion. We have a runner up number four, which is Twitter. And Twitter has 335 million monthly active users. It's a lot lower than the other channels. But then again, Twitter is an amazing platform to discuss with people, to interact. Maybe it's one of the most social platforms out there. Because what happens is people start discussions about their opinions or about certain news articles or updates or new trends. So if you want people to talk about your brand or to build your brand awareness, Twitter is the one thing to be on. And if you're in the news or have a lot of trendy articles or something like that, definitely go on Twitter. And what's interesting is that Twitter is usually text-based. This is where Facebook started and almost every other social media platform, but everything adapted to pictures and video. With Twitter, it's not the case. If you want to post a video, you only have a maximum of two minutes and 20 seconds, which is not a lot. Twitter encourages you to write actual words, which is really unique. And also the Twitter community is really being more social. So even though it has a lower user base than other platforms, it's still an amazing opportunity and I should definitely try it out. So these social media platforms is what I consider the big four and which I am on as well because there's a lot of opportunity. But besides that, there are two channels I still want to discuss with you. So the first channel is Musical.ly. It's actually quite a new social media platform, but it's all about music and lip syncing and having fun with each other while doing that. 
and the users of Musical.ly are usually really young. It's usually kids or teens, which might not be a focus for you now, but if you have a long-term plan, you know that kids are the future. The people who started with Instagram were the kids, and now it's big, now it's huge. So if you have something to do with music, or you just have a huge sense of humor, please go onto that channel just to invest in your future. And then besides Musical.ly, you have Pinterest, which I'm not really on. And the reason for this is that the majority of the Pinterest users are women. Pinterest is used to create galleries of pictures you like, of feelings you get from pictures. And this is usually used by women. So if your target group is 100% women, Definitely go on Pinterest because here's where your target audience is and besides that it has 250 million monthly active users So it's definitely worth checking out. So that's it about the best social media platforms to use out there Let me know in the comment section which you think is the biggest opportunity and why I'm really curious But before ending this video I want to discuss some things I learned from watching all these hours of videos and articles from social media gurus just like me and probably you you do it as well but you use multiple platforms at once and what this says is create different content per platform because it's gonna be annoying if you post a YouTube video and then you post that same video on Facebook and the same one on Instagram it's gonna be boring you want people to watch as many content as you want and if your fans are also on different channels they might jump to your page as well if there's different content so it's so important to have a unique strategy per platform so with that one last thing if you have time then definitely try every social media channel because the more you use the more you're going to create brand awareness and this is the key ingredient to build your business and also if you're building a personal brand I see a lot of people doing this but they're hiring people to create content for them which is so so stupid why do you think it's called a personal brand because everything comes comes within you and people want to relate with you so definitely create your own content and don't hire people to make it for you because it will just hurt you and people are smart so they will see what you're onto and they will leave you so that's it for so that's so there you go, now you know the best social media platforms for you to be on. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, because it will boost my video. I really need it to gain subscribers. And talking about subscribers, if you're really into social media and you want to learn how to make money on social media, make sure to subscribe, because I'll post two times a week about this subject and I will teach you everything I learned. So that's it for today, I will see you guys in the next video.